Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We in the meth lab. We in the meth lab. We got Um P the Great. Um Pacino yes, in the building. Hello. You already know. Salute, yes, salute. Good salute. looking for coming through. You already no know. Problem, let's let's get into it. Let's get into good, it. Let's man. get into it. Talk to Yo, me. listen. Let's do it. Listen. Yo, um. All right, so we had, we're going to take it back a little bit for people who may not know. You know what I'm saying? They right. probably, they know. We're going we're gonna to take it back a little bit. All right. All right. So we had seven straight wins. We had seven straight wins on 106, right? Definitely. We had 15 yeah. and oh, We went 15 zip on Fight Club, right? So where do we 19. go from here? 19. Uh, so where do we go from here? Right after that, what, what, what did you do right after that? Where did your career go right after that? After that, I was just like enjoying the fame, you know what I mean? Like, cause I, like after 106 in Park, that was like my first time really seeing like people coming up to me asking for pictures, autographs outside of New York. You know, I'm in Atlanta at the BT Hip Hop Awards, and there's love. I'm on the red carpet with stars, so I was just, you know, enjoying it, taking it in a moment. Okay. And then I realized that I had my music. Right? You feel me? I had to get my music, like up to date because the music that I had wasn't hitting like 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 it should have been at the time. So uh I started that's when I really started crafting on the music. Cause after cause when I was on 106 I was I was taking meetings with everybody. Like I had meetings with uh Def Jam, that's when Jay was up there, me and him spoke. But the music wasn't hitting so I ain't laying a deal at that time, you know what I mean? Like okay. an offer. So I so from two thousand six to like two thousand nine, two thousand ten I was just perfecting my craft on the uh, music. And okay. then 2010, I caught a break when I caught the joint with uh, Jada Kiss and uh, Lloyd Banks and rest in peace, Red Garson. They jumped okay. on the remix to my What You Talking About record. Shout out to Remo, the hitmaker, he produced it. And that was like, and it was just like up from there. That was 2010. Okay. All right. Shout out, shout out to Fred the God. I was there. I was there at the, at, at the memorial at the, um, at the block, the block, the block release, you know. The block, yeah, the block, yeah, yeah, I was there. I was out there. I was there. I was there. I was right there. Meth Lab was definitely there. All right, let's rewind it back a little bit. When you said the Def Jam deal didn't go through because the music wasn't hitting, so yeah. would you say that they didn't like the music or they just felt like you weren't ready yet? It, it, just, it just the music wasn't wasn't like wasn't hitting like it should have been. You know what I mean? Like the battles, every on the battle side, I was tearing shit up. You know what I mean? Everybody. Knew the face, but them hit records is what, what was needed at that time, and at that time I didn't have them, you know. So meetings that I did have, I was I was at every label, and they all was rocking with me. They just like yo, just get that sound right, like, perfect that crowd, and I respect mm -hmm. them for that for uh, even telling me that, and not just giving me a deal when my music wasn't even right. You know what I mean? That made me work hard right. and put me in better positions later down the line. You know. Understood. Understood. Now, when you well, said you said you um you met with Lloyd Banks and Jada Kiss, how did that how did that happen? How did you end up in the loop with them? Well, this is how it happened. We we reached out to Remo the Hitmaker because he had the joint with Fred that was out. So we like him. We need a producer that got that classic radio feel, but I could still be me on the record, you know. So we got in the lab with him. He cooked up what you're talking about. So then after that. We like now we need a way to to market it and promote it and get it out there. So we said, all right, fuck it. We're gonna throw our own party and hire a DJ from Hot 97 to do the party. Mm -hmm. So when so when he walk in and I'm and see me performing a song, mind you, it's, it's 100, 200 people there, but that's all my people. So it looked crazy when they singing a song, you know what I mean? So enough made right, me perform right. that. Song. So enough, he don't know that's all my people in there, you know what I mean? So he mm -hmm. he made me perform the song like seven, eight times in a row. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the next, in the next day, enough played it on the Rush Hour on Hot ninety seven, and Lloyd Ooh. Banks quote, Lloyd Banks heard the heard it on the radio and reached out to enough of them. It's like, yo, I need to get on that record, and they reached out to me, me which I thought, and that's a uh, open verse. And he sent it back like two days later. So I'm like, oh, I right. think so. We was we used to go to book me like host Sue's rendezvous up in the uh, Mount Vernon Yonkers area, mm -hmm. and my home girl she was a bartender her name is China, she was like damn you got Lloyd Banks on there, and uh, I was like yeah she's like yeah, you need to get Jada Kiss on there, 
And I'm like, that's my favorite rapper, Kiss. So she, I'm like, I, I, how you gonna make that happen? I don't got his number. And she called him. And then when I spoke to him, he was like, because that's when All Star Weekend was in LA that year. And he was mm-hmm. like, once I get back from LA, I got you. As soon as he got back from LA, he came back, laid it down, killed it. And then I hollered at Fred. I'm like, since we coming up together, you get it on it with us too. You know what I mean? So Fred laid his verse. He did the video. Everybody came through. And that was like the first time Kiss and Lloyd Banks like was in the same room right after the G Unit and D Block beef. Yep. Yep. Wow. That was, I was like, so I brought cool. that together. Right, right, right. To yeah, have both like, of them yeah. on the same track, that's that's crazy. I don't even think Definitely. you could make that happen that easy today, like these days. And I don't so, know if that would be able to happen. Yeah, that's crazy. And for me, like an underground dude, to make that happen, that was like, wow. And I had, oh, uh, rest in peace, uh, the famous accountant, Burt Fidel, he was at the video that day. And, you know, it was a lot of big names in the video that day, and that, like, really took me to the next level. And then I went back to 106 and Park to premiere video. So I went on there to being a judge and premiering my video for the new joint of the day. Remember they used to have that? Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. they premiered my video. The video with me, Kiss Banks and uh, Fred, they premiered it live on BT, and I was judging the battle this time instead of being in the battle. You know what I mean? So that was, like, a good... A good like flip like damn things just changing. Mm, that's that was that was crazy. Okay, right. we, we got Uwe. We got Uwe. Where does Uwe come into play? When when does that pop mm-hmm. off? When does Uwe pop off? Like as a regular block call, like you know, call your man down the block, Uwe, like that. Mm-hmm. So then, like when I started getting into the music, and then I'm like, yo, that's kind of catchy because everywhere we go, people like it, it latches on to them, and they start saying it too. So I'm like, when okay. I started doing the business side, I'm like, might as well call a uh, call a label Uwe. And it stands for only our hood way. So any hood can rep it. Like, it's only your hood way. It's only my hood way. You know what I mean? So that's what, that's what we broke okay. it down to. And we had the label. And then, like, my new label now, I just shortened it up <clears throat> to 1523 Music Group. Because mm. O O is the 15th letter of the alphabet. And W nice, is the twenty nice, third nice. letter alphabet. So there's still Uwe, but now it's in letter I mean number form, fifteen twenty three music group. So that's the label that I own right now. Right. No, no, no legal trouble or nothing, right? With the with the um with the Uwe uh brand. Just oh, just nah, you nah, want nah, definitely. That's still yeah. For sure. Okay, you just wanted to switch it's it to fifteen twenty three. Yeah, I like because okay. it look it looks better, like looks better on the logo and on the jackets and all that, it just it was it was popping all better. Okay, 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 okay. Now you know the the the, the, the young dudes right now they got a new saying where they say we outside, we outside. All right, right. yo, which I'm I'm gonna tell y'all people right now that's listening. Um, P always been outside. He was on the grind heavy back when a lot of people was it when a lot of people was just people that you might run into every now and then, you could have ran into Oon P every day if you wanted to. He was on the grind heavy. Yo, Oon, how many projects would you say you in right now? How many different projects you you would say you have done by now? Shit. Oh, man. At least, like, like, like pushing, like, 20, 15, 20 range. But that's projects. So, you know, Mm. each project probably had 15, 16 songs on this, and now you multiply that. That's, that's, that's crazy, that's like, you know what I mean? So that's like, you might as well say 300, 400 records. Right. <laughs> but see, remember, we and had the mixtape like, scene. Yeah. We had the mixtape sure. scene, right? But now, but now watch this. How do you feel a tra- about the transition from the mixtape scene to now the streams? Because, yo, you know, you know, a couple of your, of your, um, of your mixtapes ended up in my hand. I don't even remember how. This is, this is yeah, in the Bronx. You know what it is? Shout out to uh, MOS in Harlem, the uh, printing joint. We used to always print up thousands of copies. Anytime I drop something, we'll go there and print it up and just leave, give them out for free. Sell up. We'll sell like the first like two, three hundred just to recoup uh-huh. some money back. And then the rest, we'll leave them and the, throw them in the street, put them on tables, put them in stores, just give them to people like, you know, the little dude right, with, right, the, right. with the seller mixtapes outside. Bless uh-huh. him with like 20. We don't even want nothing back. Just like, you know what I mean? So, it was easy. like that was the way we got it around to other blocks. Yep, yep. Because there was a joint you had. I don't remember the name of the project, but you had a joint with goods on there. 
and you said something like thou shalt yeah, kill on it. And while you he said something about when you coming up, you be going down, something like that. That mixtape ended up yeah. in my hand. Yeah, that's a, I don't even yo, remember. Yo, that's how. crazy though, bro. That's a that's a long time ago, bro. Facts. Facts. Shout out to my brother Goods too, though, man. Definitely. Shout out to Goods. Okay. Now, if if you had one project, right? One project that you can you can actually you can actually put this out. Like put this out. I mean, I mean on a major, on a major label. Which project would you choose of yours? Because you have a lot of them out there, but if a major label wanted to snatch up one of your products, one of your projects, and they wanted you to present one of your projects, which project would you present? Uh, it'll have to be uh, the, one of the recent ones I just dropped. It's called the uh, Bro Code 2. That's me and my little Bro brother, Jay Quest, like a joint album with us two. Like my mm -hmm. real brother, though, same mother, same father. You know what I mean? Yeah, because your, your brother's the, um, um, the, the producer. Your brother's a producer, he do, he, I heard. He um. I got an older brother named Ty Tracks. He's a producer. Ty Tracks. Yeah. I got a younger, Ty I got a younger brother named Jay Quest. That's a rapper and a producer. Hmm. Okay. 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 I mean. Yeah. 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 Everybody. So we, get um, we get two. Get that bro code. Bro code. Um, bro code two to separation. You know. Go back. You know what I mean. You got. You got to. Yeah. You know. This is a yeah. lot of missing music that y'all might have missed. Yo, go back. I mean, I'm telling you. Yo, yeah. a lot of people be looking for the New York sound. Yeah, it's yeah, bro code. You just gotta look for it. Facts. Hell yeah, the bro code, bro code one is out too. You can get that, but bro code two, it's like you can hear the, you can hear the, uh, like the level up in our music. Like it's, the mm. sounds is bigger, the beats is better, the, the, uh, the hooks is crazy, and the, and the bars is always gonna be crazy. But the, the music you can tell is, is much more like it can reach a bigger audience. You get it? Definitely. It's a bro code too, man. and there's a lot of singles on there, and it's like with the machine behind it. That that definitely is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be right. crazy with the machine behind. You know what I mean? so just go tap in so y'all see, so y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, Bro code two is on all platforms. Separation on all platforms too. That's my solo joint. Ah, uh, your own too. I'm. I got a little bone to pick with you about something. That Styles P track, fake niggas. What's going on? That was that was the uh, fake niggas. Yeah. That was from years ago. The fake niggas joint. Elaborate on that. How that how that came yeah. to play right now? Yeah, yeah. You know what it was? Uh, he did that. Yeah, he did that verse for me in 2015. Facts. Styles. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Styles P. But it's just you know what it is. I never officially released it. Like my man wanted mm. to put it like on a little mixtape soundtrack he was doing for uh. For Honor Up, that's a movie that Dame Dash uh directed. Yep, yep. Well, Honor Up, Cam and all the movie. Them. So that that was mm -hmm. on the soundtrack for that, but it was never okay. officially released by me. Mm. And you know, okay. and it's like, and I was just sitting back and I was looking at the message. I'm like, this fake niggas is always gonna be around. That's a timeless concept. And right now, it's, it's like, what's, too. It's, it's better now because I because like. You know, like the internet is exposing all this fake shit now, and uh, Early. and you could and you just see, you could just tell, real no real, you know what I mean? And uh, that's a fact. I said it's time, it's time, it's time to hit them with this, and I and I actually ran into Styles at a little uh, one of them weed events, and he was asking me about the joint. But what? I'm gonna drop it. And he said, "Yo, I got you." He said, "Whenever, whenever you want to shoot the video, so we about to shoot the video next week." So uh, you okay. know, I mean, you can pull up too if you want. I send you the address. And uh, yeah, That's I just said, let me drop this on all platforms, get them streams. You know what I mean? And like you said about the streams, I like the streams, bro, for some reason, because it's like, mm -hmm. you, like the money is really direct to you. Like you get a check every month from streaming, and it's like right, you don't right, even right. need an label now. And my fan base right. is good enough to where them streams is definitely helping a lot. You gotta remember too. That takes away the footwork too of you. You know what I mean? Having to grind it out. You know what I'm saying? Out there with yeah, the CDs. You know this? I still, I still, I still press up my work. I don't let right. that stop right. me. Right. But it's just right. that I like right. that too because now anybody in the world can get it. They streaming yep. me. If you look, on, if you look on my page. I got people streaming. Most of my streams right now is coming from Australia. You mm. know what I mean? Okay. I posted okay. it too, so just so you can know it ain't no cap in that. You know, like that's 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 the thing that I mean about the streams because it, it shows you exactly where your fans is clicking from. Mm. So I got Poland, I got 
I got UK. I'm actually doing an EP. Shout out to my brother, Official Punishment. We doing an EP. That's my brother, K. And we dropping the EP soon. And uh, they streaming out there, too. They love hip-hop overseas, like boom bat hip-hop. They still love it. Yep. That's because some of these the people over here is on the new wave out there. They want to hear real concepts, real bars, you know what I mean? So people be thinking yep. that just because um, the young, the younger generation out here ain't really jacking it, it the world is big, you know what I mean? So you, when, when you start reaching overseas, it's different. Like right now, most That's of my fact. streams is not coming from the U.S., and it's crazy. It's like, man, and I never even been over there. Imagine when I go over there. That's what I'm already lining right. up right now. Show us stuff out there. Right. Once this world is open 100%, you're going to see what's going on. That's a fact. That's a fact. Let me ask you this. All right. right. As far as, like, the battle, the battle rap scene, you know, have you, you ever thought of, like, not, like, just going straight into the music? You got any regrets that, you know, you wish you wouldn't have battled? And that you went straight into the music because the, the the way it is these days, a lot of the battle rappers, once they start battling and that's their grand entrance, that's all people want to hear from them. You understand what I'm saying? Is right. the battle rap. When they drop an right. album or some music, nobody really appreciates the music the way they should because they only right. respect the battle rap form from them. You know what I mean? Right. See, me, see, see I, you. I, 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 Oon, I don't want to cut you off, but you and Fred, you and Fred are, 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 are people, rest in peace, Fred, you and Fred are people that could have took that lane. That could have even went even harder on the battle scene. But y'all music is just as good. There ain't too many of you and Fred. Y'all music is just as good as right. as the battle format. You understand? So it's like, it's kind of kind of right. a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's a little bit. Sure. A little uh, bit. But I don't, mm -hmm. I don't regret like, like taking a battle scene and then like you know how they put that stigma on you that you can't you can't make mm -hmm. music because you battle rap and all that but I don't regret none of that because people I already proved people wrong that I could make those records. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like everything was a, everything is a learning experience. I got a lot of fans and notoriety off my battles and converted mm -hmm. those fans into liking my music. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and, and which, I which most and artists can't do. Exactly. You see me on records with your with your with your with your with your high mainstream artists like to this day. Like I got the joint with Casanova that's out, Henny and Miss don't mix. Mm -hmm. Swung them to the hood, free Casanova too. And uh I got the joint with Roddy Rich. Shout out shout out to Grammy winning Roddy Rich. I got him on the joint that's streaming on all platforms called Out the Streets. Y'all could go tap that in now. And I flew him out here to do the video. Cool dude, you know what I mean? The videos on YouTube going crazy. And uh I got a joint right now about to drop featuring uh, Tory Lanez next month, so y'all can stay tuned mm. for that too. You know what I mean, I got joints with Benny the Butcher and all them, uh, Uncle Murder, like the list, the list don't stop. That's a fact, and this is all right. being done on an independent, on an independent. Yeah, you know what I'm I mean? independent. Fifteen twenty three music group, nothing I, else. Mm. Well, no, I respect it. I respect it. I and respect it. And as far as the battles. I I got a back uh, featuring Charlie versus Charlie Clips. I'm actually, they just they just pushed it back. So I'm waiting for another date, but the contracts are signed and the, the, uh, the, uh, that upfront deposit was already sent. So now we just, it's just like getting a good date for me and Clips schedule. But Oon P versus Charlie Clips is going down this summer for sure. Yo, Oon, that's, that's going to be big. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't do it if it ain't big. Yo, I'm telling you, that's gonna be something. Charlie Clips, Charlie Clips is a clips of people. Like he done been in my crib and all that. Like, you know what I mean? We know each other, but at the end of the day, like it's still competitive sport. And they're giving out that's big, crazy. nice bags. And that's I ain't gonna be missing these bags knowing I threw that battle shit. Like, you know what I mean? That's my shit. What platform is that gonna is that gonna be premiering on? It's on MC War. MC War. MC War. If you go look up MC War. All the battle rappers was on his platform. So y'all okay. can go check it out and see what you're getting into. And look forward to Oom P vs. Charlie Clips coming this summer. It's going to be crazy. That's a fact. And Oom, this is the last thing I want to touch on. Um, yeah. I know you know a lot about um about like contracts, you know, like um shady contracts. And I know oh. you've been through a lot of the battle rap contracts. Let the people know, like, you know what I mean? Is the is the contracts 100 or they could they could be brushed up a little bit? 
Nah, them shits is usually a hundred. Like if they if they trying to get you on some shit, like you would know. You know what I mean? And if you got lawyers, your lawyer gonna pinpoint if it's funny business out. But at my contract, everything was it's like it's like flat out, straight out there. It ain't like them. It ain't like a music industry contract, like where they the percentages of the racket and all that. This shit is just straight out. Listen, I'm giving you this, and I'm giving you this up front, and I'm giving you this when you get to the venue. It's simple. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. That's that's good business, right? On the battle, so you tell them you want, so you tell them you want twenty or twenty five. They'll send you twelve five up front, and you get twelve five on the back end when you get to the venue. That's 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 good. That's good. And hey, yo, listen, everybody, I want y'all to go check out the lemon pepper freestyle from OP. He just dropped it a couple days ago. Oh, my that's God. hitting right now. You already know, yo. This is the meth lab. The OP salute for coming through. You already know BX. Call nah, this stand up. Know. One seven eight stand up. Make sure y'all follow me, man. At O U N P one five two three. Make sure y'all streaming them records for separation. The bro code one. The bro code two. Medication two. And uh, look out for my new project. I got a project called Love Day that's about to drop. That's for the ladies. You know, got to do something for the ladies too. And then I got Fat Street dropping later this summer. So y'all can stay tuned to that. And look out for OMP versus Charlie Clips on the battle scene coming this summer. So you know it's a lot of work being done. I just dropped a video last, last night too for us now uh, featuring my mm -hmm. little brother Jay Quest. So that's two videos this week I dropped. And I may drop one more this week. So, you know, we ain't playing. We with working. Them. We working. You already know we working. Yes, sir. Yo, I appreciate you, I appreciate you bro. You know it's that shit. Meth lab, Love, bro. You already know. Yes. The meth lab. You already Salute, know. You already baby. know. All right. Yes, sir. My man. Yeah. Mathematics entertainment, true history.